Bear with me for a moment. Well, it might not look like it, but I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. So, <clears throat> if I go to the side from every now and then, it's probably because I'm coughing or sick or sneezing. Whatever, I'm going to continue to do what I set out to do in the first place, and that is to spread the wonderful light, to shine this beautiful light <clears throat> on the world today, tonight. Earlier today, earlier this morning I should say, I woke up at around 2 in the morning threw up, went back to bed, another two hours later, threw up again, left my boss a voice message, saying, I, I, I'm not, I'm not coming in, because I don't want to slow everybody down, because of the way I'm feeling, and I'd rather not get everybody else sick at the same time. Now, between this morning and now, I've taken a shit ton of medicine, so I'm feeling a little tired and a little woozy. So, that's kind of why I'm going to be moving around a little bit. I've been drinking a lot of water, but other than that, I've been pretty much fine. Later, I find out, oh no, later, I get, a, I get notifications from Facebook. From Channel 2, WSB Channel 2, here in Atlanta, and Fox 5 in Atlanta. Not only that, I get notifications from news sources, uh, Channel 13 in Indianapolis, Indiana. Channel 58, Fox, Fox 58 in Houston. And a random news source in Florida about a shooting that happened in some random, I think it was a middle school or elementary school or some kind of a school, a public school. Another shooting happened in a public school. Now, whether or not it was another VA veteran that decided to grab a gun and spread his mental illness around like it's the left, like, like another leftist stew of corruption. But, that being said, it's pissed me off to the point where I could put on the mask and say this. Bullshit! How dare anybody say that this is a mental illness when he's clearly set up paid millions of dollars and probably will walk free if not get a fucking bullet in his fucking head for probably not doing the job that he was assigned to do. What job is that one, Death Eater? Well, I'm glad you asked. <clears throat> I'm glad you asked, indeed. Because the job that he was set up to do is to kill as many people as possible. He injured twice as many as he killed. He didn't kill very many. I, I'm still trying to figure out how many people died. Last I heard was like 8 or 10. 10 people dead. I'm sure that number has been changed by now. But uh, or at least by the time this video gets uploaded, it will be. And 20 people injured. Or 30. I can't remember how many. 50, probably. 50. More than 50 were shot and injured by this leftist, democratic, liberal thug. That, this, the, I'm promising you, this is what the media is going to blare out on everywhere in the next couple days.
veteran, VA, mental illness. They're already saying mental illness. Matter of fact, I heard one, one resource say mental illness. I heard another resource said that it's easier to get a gun permit than a driver's license. Now that is false. I've applied to get a gun permit and then I completely backed down from it, mainly because I, I didn't feel interested at the time. Plus, I didn't have the money. If I had the money right now, I would indeed go get a gun permit. Now, that would take a while. That would take a... That would take some time. Because the government would have to perform a background check on me. Meaning, they would have to find any criminal data on me, if there is any, and see if I would be okay to handle a gun. After that goes through, give or take a couple weeks, months later, I'd, I'd say a good month and a half, I would get a gun permit. Driver's license, on another hand, is a different story. You have to... You have to do an appointment for that. You have to do an appointment for a written test. You have to do an appointment for the actual driving part of the test. And all that could be done in the same week. You cannot buy a gun and get a gun permit within a week. It takes up to a month to get a gun permit. And it probably takes about the same amount of time to actually get a gun registered in your name. And you're telling me that it, it, it takes longer to get a driver's license. Fuck you! And whatever... whatever vehicle you drive... And you know what? <clears throat> Fuck whoever gave birth to you. Whoever thought was a good idea, I'm gonna get some tonight. We're gonna make a baby. We're going to teach her or him the liberal ways, get gun control back in America where it belongs, and fuck everybody up. Mommy, what was that guy doing? Don't worry about it, Missy. He was just performing a show. But mommy, I want to do what he was doing. No, Jimmy, that is bad. Wait until you're 18 and I'll teach you the way. Mommy, what was that? Don't worry about it, little Sarah. You'll find out when you're 16. Now that's out of the way. It's a tragedy, really. Anybody that says otherwise, you're mistaking yourself. And you're a fool for not thinking that it's not a tragedy. Any kind of a shooting or domestic terrorism or terrorist and or terrorist events in general it doesn't have to be somebody within our own country. It just has to be just some kind of a terrorism event by to some kind of a crime that involves shooting somebody else. It's a tragedy. It's a travesty. It's... 
It's bullshit. It's media corruption made made to try to take everybody's security away. Next thing you know, they'll say security systems are racist. I, 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 I promise you, within the next couple of years, I promise you, some media somewhere, be either CNN or some other fucking media subsidiary, whatever the fuck that word is, controlled by CNN, will come out and say, security systems are racist against black people, and are not racist against black people. Okay? I have black friends. I work with black people. Some of my good buddies are black. Very good buddies. I'm not racist at all, but... In my mind, I, I truly think the media portrays... Americans as racist, egotistic morons that really just don't know anything at all. <clears throat> egotistic morons. Now, what does that remind me of? Line. Oh, there it is. Cernando! That's what it reminds me of. An egotistical liar! Now, I know what you're thinking. Now, one Death Eater, did you seriously create this video just to make another stupid statement towards that stupid, ungrateful liar, Cernando? No! I didn't, because it's a tragedy that innocent children have to die by the hands of a liberal bastard just because liberals don't like security. They'd rather our criminals be the only ones with guns. They'd rather their security be the only ones that, c that are allowed legally allowed to protect themselves. Look at Chicago, a gun-free zone. Look at Detroit, another gun-free zone. You put a major city into a gun-free zone, you're looking at something that's right as big as Ferguson when that fucking crook got shot by the cop. And people demanded that cop to be fired, arrested, hung. That is racist. Black Lives Matter is just completely racist. When there's any other black-on-black -black crimes, that's automatically, oh, well, no, I, I don't fucking care. You'll never hear any kind of black-on-black -black crimes in the news. You'll only see white-on-black crimes because that is the hit. That's this. That's that. That's what makes everybody tick. Because that is what the media is trying to portray to the world about America: is that we're egotistical, racists. Bastards! Gun-loving bastards! Now, I don't like guns. The only reason why I would ever get a permit, a gun permit, is to protect myself. That is my... That is my amendment. That, 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 that is my right to protect myself. The right to bear arms. And you're talking about taking my right away. Number one, you're breaking 
national law, and you should be arrested for treason. Number two, you cannot, and I mean you cannot, change an amendment like that. Just out of, just, just like that. You could place your special laws saying this is a gun-free zone. But that's, that, that, what was it again? That second amendment? What, what, right? It was the second amendment? Whatever amendment number it is, it's on there. Trust me. Whatever amendment that is gives me the right to go into that city with my fucking concealed weapon whenever I want. If you arrest me, I could sue you. I could sue you. And you'd be arrested for treason. For not allowing me my right to bear arms. Now I do agree that some amendments need to be changed, but not deleted. Not erased. Like you constantly continue to erase history by tearing down anything that represents confederacy. I'm sorry that slavery existed. Move on. No need to, excuse me, no need to. Excuse me, no, no need to continue to brag about, oh, we need to, we need to take out every single confederate statue because I'm offended by clay. I'm offended by concrete. I'm offended. You know what? I'm offended by your stupidity. Take that. And you know what? I think you need to be taken down. You know, this is exactly why I voted for Donald Trump in the first place. Because he represented the light. The light. The light that shines. That. The light that shines and makes this possible. Not taking everybody's guns away just because some liberal asshole wants to kill a bunch of kids. Okay? The way we could fix that is arming our schools, arming our teachers. I hate to say it, but that's, that's literally all we have to do. You can't ban guns. You figuratively cannot ban guns. Because criminals are going to look at that and say, Oh, no guns allowed. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Bang, bang. Oh, ho, ho. Bang, bang. Oh, ho, ho. That's exactly what they do every single time. And every single time something like this happens. Oh, bring the gun. Oh, it's mental health. Oh, it's some nuthead who loves guns. Who just loves to fucking shoot up kids. No, it's not. It's some fucking liberal with no fucking brain. Maybe that second part that I said about wanting to shoot kids is true. About that moron. Or maybe what I said earlier was true, that he got paid to shoot those kids. And I'm sticking to that. <clears throat> Point is, you know, it takes a lot, doesn't it? It takes a lot to want to shoot up kids just to prove a fucking point, doesn't it? You can't just make a fucking YouTube video on how you really, really, really don't like guns. See, something like that could be just as effective than killing a bunch of fucking innocent kids. 
especially if you're a popular YouTuber. I'm not popular by by any means. And if I do somehow get popular, don't oh, trust me, I'll get labeled as a fucking gun-loving Republican nut. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't consider myself a, pub, uh, a Republican or a con conservative. I had to find the word for a second. I don't find, I, I don't recognize myself as a Republican or a conservative. I recognize myself as an American. A hard working American. I just recently started a new job two weeks ago and here I am fucking sick. And I'm sick and fucking tired of all these fucking hypocrites on the fucking news every fucking day spreading Propaganda after propaganda, lie after lie. Guns don't shoot themselves, ladies and gentlemen. If they did, we wouldn't be making them now, would we? Guns were not made for war, ladies and gentlemen. They were made for defense. They were made to protect you, the citizen. And this country grants you the right to protect yourself. How can anybody be so fucking stupid to think otherwise? It's beyond me. I'm telling you right now, I'm feeling a little better. That's why I'm making this video. To prove to everybody that not, not every American is gun loving. I'm not a gun lover, but I will freely use a gun to protect myself against a fucking thug rather than get shot over a fucking vehicle or my fucking wallet or a fucking cell phone. I would rather protect myself than to get killed over something stupid. That's all I have. For tonight so thank you all for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like or a dislike or whatever you freely wish to choose it's a free country it's a free website I'm not forcing you to click the like button in fact I'm not forcing you to do anything at all I had to bit my tongue also if you enjoy my content hit the subscribe button and hit that little notification bell so you get notified whenever I go live or upload some fucking rant. <clears throat> and as always, share my content if you like it. I'm off for now. So until then, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.